Hello and welcome to Radio Premise. You're listening to this on Radio FM 115. My name's Majera Khan and here with me today I have Codaholic. What's up? Neon Cookie. Hello. And Minuteman. How's it going? Okay, so our first topic for today is Call of Duty Zombies. And how long is it going to be relevant for? So, Difficult yeah. question. <laughs> well, uh, like, I feel... Um, or I don't know. Do you think it's going <laughs> to so die down in the period of Infinite Warfare Zombies, basically? I, f- I think it will stay alive, like, at least for a bit longer. More than Infinite Warfare it, Zombies. It really depends on how good the Zombies is going to be, because... It can be if it's if it's as bad as Exo Zombies was, then I think it's going to maybe die, something. See, I have high hopes for Infinite Warfare Zombies, but I feel yeah, it's just too. gonna it's just gonna flop. In that case, then it's not gonna die. And if Infinite Warfare Zombies is as good as Treyarch Zombies, which is very doubtful, but it could happen, it may happen, then it will die. If not, then it won't. Yeah. Do you think that? The way Call of Duty multiplayer is going, which a lot of people like the multiplayer, but the way it's going is sort of going downhill in my opinion. Do you think that the multiplayer side of Call of Duty dies? Do you think the zombies will die subsequently because of that as well? Or do you think zombies could stay afloat on its own? I think that it's not separate recent. from Call of Duty and just become its own thing. Yeah, that's what I've been wishing for, for like eternity. Because me and my friends, like I or like school friends they we have always like been wishing about like for there to be a zombies only game where they just remaster every map or or yeah just a, a, a game focused on zombies that would be amazing in my opinion i think what i was thinking and i have yeah. i have thoughts about this all the time that um they might make a game where because the storyline is like technically over in a sense, um, besides like the comics and the parts, like the mini Easter eggs are still to be found and ciphers and stuff. But yeah. what I'm trying to say is that I keep thinking that they may release a game of zombies either on its own or with Call of Duty. But what you can do in it is basically customize maps. Like there's no maps that Track released. There's just tools in it, like on console, to uh, make other maps. So basically, if you're on console, it's more. It's like a like I was saying in the last podcast, it's a bit like Far Cry, where on the console you can make maps with what's actually in the game. It'll be a bit like that, so there won't be no maps made by Treyarch, no first map, no Transit 2.0, there'll be nothing like that. It'll just be things, materials that are in all the past Call of Duties, so obviously you can't put Spongebob in the map and stuff, but it'll just be that, and you can make maps from that, which I think would be cool, because obviously the storyline's over. And so stuff, basically so. just mod tools for the consoles? Essentially, yeah, but like... But in the actual game... See, I, I would be down for that. I don't, not... know, I don't know why they haven't implemented it. I I feel like they know that a lot of people would love it. And I, I'd totally be down for it. It's, even if it was like for another game, but like a zombies game, they did that type of thing. I think just the, the openness of it would just bring in a lot more people. And it would just sort of keep it alive for a lot longer. Yeah. I'm just jealous of everyone that's on PC at the minute because my laptop could barely run World of War. I have to put it on the lowest resolution to run Dari. Um, so for people on PC, it's oh, fine. Okay. But I'm sat here and I'm just like, so if you're on console, basically, it's going to get boring. What I'm saying, all these questions about Call of Duty dying out, for people on console, it may well do with Infinite Warfare Zombies. I don't think Infinite Warfare Zombies will be as good as Track, but oh. um, if you've got mod tools, I feel like you'll have a lot of fun. And, like, content for me, for example, until I get my PC, obviously Infinite Warfare Zombies is going to come out, but until I get my PC, I, I'm not really going to be playing Black Ops 3 uh, as much when Infinite Warfare comes out, and I would play it way more, but it's just because there's no mod tools and I don't want to play the same maps over and over again. I'm, that's why, at the minute, I did a live stream yesterday on Moon. I did private it in the end, but I did a live stream yesterday on Moon, and I'm just going back to the old maps, because the same five map, five, well, it is five maps, or is it six maps? Six. I can't even remember. Yeah, six maps. Yeah. <laughs> um, the same six maps over and over again, it just gets really repetitive for me. But yeah. I don't understand why they haven't brought yeah. in mod tools. If they just bring in the things that were used in the game, because obviously copyright reasons and stuff. But I, I know I keep going back to this, but Far Cry did it. Why can't Call of Duty do that? That's, I just don't understand. It's easy enough, because yeah. they've done it at the moment with the mod tools for PC. Like, you can only use assets from the giant. They haven't even released yeah. assets from, like, any of the other maps yet. 
Um, Besides guns, so because they did the PPSH yeah, and yeah. stuff, but it's got no sounds. So. Yeah, but like they they should be able to do a similar thing for the consoles, if so, and like release the assets for the six maps, so you can like use whatever you want. But then nothing outside of the Call of Duty Zombies like realm is being used, like you say, like no SpongeBob or anything else you might want to use. What I was thinking is, um, if Treyarch did this with console and they made mod tools available to people i wouldn't i would play infinite warfare zombies obviously in modern warfare remastered but i don't think i'd play it as much just because i'd be so much into mod tools i'd probably play mod tools more to be fair um i yeah, played mod tools for the first time a few days ago probably about three or four days ago from now um at a friend's house and i just felt it felt so cool it was fabric to totem which is the map that madgas made and it just felt yeah. really cool there's people making taco bell maps with just things from the giant and and no custom weapons, basically, or anything, which is insane. So I just don't, I don't even understand. And people could still make, like, that Taco Bell map, for example, even though it's on console and you're only using things from the giant, you could still make maps like that. And just as fun. Like, um, Fabric de Totem, like I was talking about earlier, uh, I know people are probably going to be on, like, if it's on console, you've not got, like, the SpongeBob or, like, you can't import things from other games and stuff. It's not going to be as fun. It's not going to be as exciting. But Magic has this map was essentially like, I wouldn't say it's a giant replica, but it's like, it looks like something that Chark would make. Yeah. Uh, so you could make something like that. Like it looks, basically everything he used were in um, Zombies already, besides Banana Colada and besides the Magnum, I think he's got yeah, in Yeah, that was pretty but cool besides that, to get that in. Yeah, the Magnum. Yeah. And the Mauser and well, yeah, PPSH. Just like from having Banana Wars, Colada, because so. like, the other weapons, like the Mauser, for instance, was in Call of Duty somewhere, but like, obviously Banana Colada must have been created from scratch. Yeah. I think he got one yeah. of his friends to like do that for him and port it into the game. I don't think he did it himself, but I remember him like shouting him out or whatever on Twitter. But um, but yeah, like, Mod Tools is going to pick up once they release the, like, the actual version of Mod Tools, once they give us the assets for like Shadows, that's the Vo, dies, and you know, and all these other maps. They'll give us like more yeah. assets and more things to play with. I'm not sure if this yeah. is gonna really mean anything, but um, on Madness's stream, I actually said uh, on one of his streams two or three months ago, I said, um, add the PPSH. He read out my comment, he said, add the PPSH. He said, maybe. And uh, what happens a few days later? He adds the PPSH in Origins. So maybe as an inspiration, he read out my name, he said, Codaholic, add the PPSH. Maybe I will, and I'm like, I could have inspired him to do that, even though there was millions of people, not millions, but there was a lot of people telling him to do that. I I just like to think that I was the one. Yeah. That okay. Yeah. Set told him to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. I remember. Yeah. You could probably do it quite easy, especially once the assets for like Guard Crow become out as well. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I remember when I discovered mod tools like back in World at War custom zombies and it was just so much fun and so addicting and i bet or like people are already having so much fun with mod tools and yeah that will definitely keep zombies alive for a lot a lot more longer for a lot yeah. longer so do you think if call of duty dies like just in general do you think that zombies is screwed or do you think that they're going I don't to think so because if if call of duty does like there's call people say call of duty is dead now but it's, it's really not even Close yeah, people have been saying that for like two years. Yeah, it's like um, people yeah, are like Battlefield yeah, 1, for example, people are like, Battlefield 1's going to smash Call of Duty. Although Battlefield 1's a great game, it's not going to win in sales. Like, it's just, it's, it's never going to happen. Uh, maybe in the distant future, but it's like, was it Battlefield Hardline and Advanced Warfare, or Battlefield Hardline and Black Ops 3? I cannot honestly remember. But I know it was like, it looks terrible, the Call of Duty, the Hardline looks way better. It's going to win in sales, Call of Duty's going to die. Yet Call of Duty was like the second most selling game that year. Oh, uh, yeah. Under, I, I can't remember what game it was to be 100% honest, but Call of Duty was the second most selling game that year. And I know Black Ops 3 was the most selling first person shooter game last year. So, I mean, oh well, since it, since the release of it. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. think Call of Duty die, essentially, because there's still people playing like World at War and stuff i know that yeah. kind of stuff. but there's people still playing modern warfare 2 free black ops 2 if you go into black ops 2 there'll be millions of people playing it with snipers and trick shotting and, and doing whatever i don't think call of duty will yeah. die essentially and i know i'm going really off topic here but i don't think call of duty will die i just feel it may lose 
what's it? It's it's flair, if that makes any sense. But it's never going to die. I don't mm. think COD will die. So, but if if Call of Duty does die, I, like it's going to be really hard for zombies to like stay alive because just the fact that Call of yeah. Duty's brand name would be on it, it'd be Call of Duty Zombies. It it's probably wouldn't do very well. Just because. Yeah, you know, I know, but that's why I feel like if. If Call of Duty would die, I feel like they would do like a spin-off with just zombies or something. I honestly feel is, like obvious. that's what they're planning right now. You know how Treyarch and Jason yeah. Lundell are saying like 18 months, you know, this new thing that we've got planned for you that we're not telling you exactly what it is. I personally think it might be a, a zombies only game. And I sort of hope... I am. The zombies community is 81 times better than the multiplayer community at the minute, whether you like multiplayer or not, it's <laughs> it's it's much better than the um, yeah. than the zombies community. Uh, I mean the multiplayer community. I I don't know. I just feel if... where Treyarch's got. And to be honest, it's not even Treyarch. It's not Infinity Wars. It's not like they like like their games would be doing really well. And I'm gonna be shouting out a big company here and giving them a bit of grief. But I think it's a, a lot to do with Activision. Yeah, they're, they're like, the ones that want the supply drops. They're the ones that are basically ruining the game. Yeah, 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 for sure. I I hate how Activision are like so money hungry for everything, and that's <laughs> that's not the only thing. But they are ruining Call of Duty in a multitude of ways. They're probably the reason that like it's gone to futuristic jumping and everything, all like that. They're I doing the. Like... the... <laughs> Go I feel like it's all Activision's fault. Like I don't think Treyarch or. Uh, Infinite Warfare or Infinity Ward even like want to go that direction, but obviously they have to do what uh, whatever Activision tells them. They're doing the opposite thing from EA, where EA went from money hungry to now you don't have to pay for anything in the games. Obviously they've got like FIFA and stuff where you have to buy points and stuff, but yeah. in like Battlefield for example, there's not really anything to buy buy in there. You can buy stuff, but I mean it's not really a major thing. And Activision are going the complete opposite route where they had COD points in Black Ops One where you earn them and you wasted them uh, to Black Ops Three and Infinite Warfare where you, you buy and the thing that annoys me as well, and this is going back to the question about Infinite Warfare and Black Ops Three dying them, is the they're definitely gonna become viable, supply drops, not at the start. And if Infinity Ward have said that supply drops will not be viable. But they're going to be viable in in the end. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. Gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, Black Ops Three said the same thing. So and yeah, so did Black Ops Warfare. So yeah, and I'm scared that this is going to like slip in into zombies a bit because we've already seen it a tiny bit with the gobble guns. Because if you want, you could just buy Liquid Divinium and get all of the best gobble guns. Yeah. Like, the good it's thing not about like that, really the same thing, but I'm I'm scared that it's going to become the like The good thing more... about that is that you don't need to do it all like you it's not like you need gob guns as such, obviously they help you out a lot. But like you got all your weapons and that's yeah. the main thing. Like in multiplayer you have to pay a lot or like play it a lot to then earn the keys or whatever so you can then get yourself um certain weapons. But like If you know, think about it, that bad new bad um zombies. Yeah, in zombies yeah. But you've got people that have spent like thousands of pounds on the game. They've got about 80 round robins. They could just get to round 80 without getting a single kill. And then you've got people who grind out the game and do all this. Obviously can't afford gobble gums. Like me, for example, I play zombies quite a lot. I've got two round robins ever. And there's people yeah. like Noah J, for example, he probably has about 50. Like it's, I, I do think it's unfair, but I, I know where you're coming from, where it's nowhere near as bad as multiplayer, where you've got to have them good weapons, otherwise you're screwed, because yeah. it's very... Very bad in multiplayer. Yeah. The thing is with um with zombies, it's like it's not competitive like it is multiplayer. So like yeah. it's, it's not as bad as you yeah, if you're on the same team of you're playing with somebody who's got really OP gobble guns, you, you That's gonna help you. You, you you like it obviously, whereas if you're playing multiplayer and somebody's got like OP class or whatever, they got a gun that you can't use. That's when yeah. uh, you know, that's when the people get upset. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So uh, well, except if grief was like existed, oh, <laughs> or like in some I place, think that'd be quite I would love it. Though. Could you imagine? Yeah, saying... I would love it as well. But like, then it like if someone had like OP gobble gums and then grief came in, or what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't well, know. think about it. 
I don't even know how then to gob gums would work in grief. Could you imagine, like, if you phoenix up on grief, for instance, would it revive the enemy teammates as well as yours? Um, mm. You know, and all these uh, loads think... of gobblegums that could conflict with yeah. another team. I know what you mean, but I feel like they do something like phoenix up only revives your teammates. Like, now you see yeah. me, that gobblegum, for example, that would, uh, when you use it, it would the, all the zombies would run to the opposite team, not, like, because just say I used it, it could run to, like, one of my teammates, like, all the zombies instead of me. They'd all run to like the opposite team. They would not run to any of your teammates, which I think would be pretty cool. Shopping yeah. free only works for your team; doesn't work for the other team. Same with profit sharing. So uh, I don't know. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, the chances I mean, of them bringing it, it back in Black Ops One, I'll be Black Ops Three now is yeah. slim. If they wanted to do that, if they did bring it back, I bet there would be like some glitches along the way or something. Yeah. But what? Actually, I was gonna say how would it work, but I don't know. That, that might, be, only portions that might of maps, be why they it? haven't bring it back. Or if they do bring it back, they might think, you know what, no gobble gums, make it as equal as we can for everyone. Well, somebody's going to bring it back in uh, mod tools anyway. You, ju you just know that's going to happen. So Yeah, yeah. So uh, on to the next question, I reckon. If we could make yeah. one custom zombies map, what would it be? I'm going to say straight away, Origins Remade. Bang. Maybe not with the robots and stuff, but if anyone makes an Origins Remake and I've not got a PC, I will literally sit in the corner of my room and I'd just be crying. I'd be bursting out in tears. I wouldn't eat for weeks. I would just be, I would just be depressed, very depressed. If somebody made an Origins Remake and I couldn't play it, I would be really yeah. sad. I think that would be really cool. Somebody's already made the Mob of the Dead starting room and the Buried starting room. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, it'll take a long time, maybe like a year from now. But somebody at one point will make an Origins remake or a Mob of the Dead yeah. remake, and I would just, I would just cry if I couldn't play it. But hopefully, I'm going to get a PC. Button, so, like, so. So yeah, now that you can create anything. From there. Personally, if I could have like, any map, I think the cool, like the theory going back a while back, where people were saying DLC four would be in Egypt. I think I would like an Egypt map now. Like thinking about it, I don't know why. So, it just, it would just for me anyway. It'd be pretty cool playing in Egypt with like the pyramids. And yeah. Everything. I, think that I know somebody's already yeah, started it. Really cool. I know somebody okay. started one. I oh, saw, um, did they? I really want to play that then. I think it was like <laughs> Black Ops 1 models or something, but I saw um, Dalek and Pizza playing in like Paris and like it had the underground at like, the catacombs and like you saw that was like, Black Ops 1, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so awesome. And that looked really <gasps> awesome. And I, you know, I just feel like if you had, had the same sort of thing in like Egypt. I feel like you could do so much with going inside the pyramids, for instance, and having that as like a whole area you could buy and open up and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be really cool. Wait, so what about yeah, you? But... Sue? What would you have for maps? <laughs> yeah, like I really like when custom zombie maps has custom perks and custom power ups. So yeah. I would just be like having so much of them because I played a map called Unstalter Untoten on World at War Custom Zombies and I actually uploaded it on my channel as well and it had two custom perks and I think three or two custom power-ups and they were just so awesome with custom perk jingles and custom audio when you picked up the uh, uh, like um, power-ups and yeah just custom effects and it was just so much fun I loved it so much yeah, so I would have a lot of those at least. Yeah, I can agree with you there. Custom perks are definitely like such an awesome thing. Like I've never actually played custom zombies, but I could imagine because I've seen a lot of gameplay from like other YouTubers, and uh, I would personally love like custom perks. There's something new. Going back, going back to um the earlier topic about COD dying and stuff. If they added something like that into that, that'd be perfect. Like just add a new drop or add a new box of yeah. like add a gorilla or something. Just add something that will keep us yeah. playing. Yeah. I did a full live stream once when the death machine was introduced. I did two live streams back to back on the death machine being introduced, just trying to get the death machine. So if they did, I don't know if they brought something from back. Like that. Yeah, and like I, I played, I also played a custom zombies map which had like a mixture of guns from Call of Duty Ghost, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two, Black Ops Two, and like it was just such a mixture, and it was so much fun to just use all of the guns in a map and I also love because if I created a map it would have it would have a custom zombies um or no a custom yeah a custom sound or a jingle when you open the box because I played a lot of custom zombie maps where you when you buy the box it like says something like really 
weird or cool because I remember I watched a lot of NGT zombies back in the day. Yeah. And yeah. they, one of their fans created a zombie map like dedicated to them. And when you got the teddy bear, it was them laughing, like the YouTubers oh. laughing or something. It was oh, so, okay. it was so cool. Yeah. Something like that I would create if I could. Yeah. What about you, Miniman? Some... Do you have any sort of map ideas that you would like to create? Um, yeah, I actually want to make a Star Wars custom map. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, know, have you guys played, or, like, uh, or have you guys watched Star Wars very much, or know much about it? No, I watched it, but I don't know the storyline. I, so. I forget the films, it was years ago when I watched them. I've actually mm. never watched Star Wars, I and played people yeah. I played like are so hard to see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are so frustrated about you know uh, what force lightning is then, right? Yeah, yeah. That could just be the wonder wolf, and then force push would be oh, the yeah. thunder gun, and like you just like somehow code it so that when the guy moves his hands, he's using the force, and and then also the uh, yeah, skull softly. Awesome. Yeah, that would be cool. You could, like push zombies back with your hands and stuff, and that'd yeah. be like the thunder gun effect. Yeah. So, yeah. You could just use like the same coding from the katana, and then just. Put in a model of a lightsaber and yeah. yeah, yeah, that would be really awesome. And just have a sound effect like drum when you yeah, yeah. That, and for it to be, be able really to kill awesome. more than one zombie at one slice, huh? Yeah. And for it to be able to kill more than one zombie for one slice. Well, we have if it'd be cool, to, like because what the Jedi do, they they like throw their lightsaber and that comes back to them like a boomerang. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, well, they that's something what bad. they could do is they could uh, do something similar to the uh, Apophagan Sword, the upgraded one where you yeah. can like, release it. Uh, they could make that model and just basically just redesign it, just make it yeah. look different aesthetically. That'd be super cool. That would actually yeah. be pretty cool. Yeah. Now I need a PC. <laughs> I also want to do <laughs> something with extinction as well. Once every once the mod tools yeah. is not beta anymore. I want to make yeah, there was a like, uh, there was remake a... extinction map that have zombies rather than obviously aliens. Oh, no, I want to like there was... do like a World War Two like extinction custom map with zombies and aliens. Okay. Yeah, there is one existing already. Oh, we've got Mark and we've got. I played a uh... I played a custom zombies map. I have no idea what it's called, but I played it and um every like the dog rounds are oh, alien. Oh yeah, I played that too. Yeah. Yeah, that map is map is actually quite fun. Like, or like it's it's exactly like the dogs. Like the dogs just have new skins. Like yeah. they pro like it would be cool if they would have like done it differently because they spawn like the dogs and they I, th I think I don't really remember but they like act exactly like the dogs. They just have different skins. Yeah. But it would be really cool to have it like actually aliens. Yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. That'd be cool. But no, like yes. one of the extinction maps, but just zombies rather than extinction, I think that'd be pretty cool. I just yeah. don't like, yeah. I don't know, when you said aliens, we've got um, we've got the Apothecons, which are, which are quite close. We've got Marvels, we've got Parasites. But I mean, got, like, extinction. The Meatball like things. What are, them, what are their name? I can't even remember. The Meatballs. Um, the... The Raps. No, but they're, they're cool. They've yeah. got, like, a... I don't know what they're called. It's called, like, the... I don't even know. It's like I'm pretty sure it... just the wraps, isn't it? No, um, I call, I call them meatballs, and other people call them wraps. Yeah, but there's an actual name for them. It's like the the atomic devil devils or something like that. It's nothing like what I just said, but it's something similar to that. It's like a two two words, and it's it's it's, okay. it's like it sound. It's not a real word. It's like oh. Mark, for example. Oh, it's no. like a made up. Is it robotic antipersonal uh, sentry? No, that's just raps. That's no, that's just, raps. <laughs> that's raps. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I genuinely thought that like raps was like the name for them. Like I thought that okay. was it. Whilst while you're while we go on to the next topic, I'm gonna quickly just uh search up what these are called because I think this will be really interesting yeah, to us. Uh, I'm to trying see. to find now. That's how I uh saw robotic whatever it was. <laughs> God, uh, I just want to quickly say to uh, everyone, uh, and I'm not, I, everyone, anyone watching the podcast may not get this. But Sawtooth just said, I'm almost home. So. <laughs> Invite him on. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Insanity Elementals. Is that it? Exa yeah, yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. Really? I never knew that. I, I honestly thought their actual name was Raps. No, I knew they had another name. I just couldn't really think of it. But it was a two-letter two, two, uh, two letter, 
two <laughs> damage. Two damage. Yeah. Insanity Elemental, that's pretty cool. I sneezed. Bless also referred to as meatballs. Yes, thank you. <laughs> They're in Dead Ops Arcade as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dead Ops Arcade! I completely forgot about that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was funny. There, a there was a cool. zombie showdown question, and um, like recently, and uh, Nick, it was Nixaru against um, Q Knight Z, and uh, they were asked a question of like name every map that the Marquis have appeared on, and they both said uh, Shadows of Evil and Revelations, and they they both missed out uh, Dead Ops Arcade too. Uh, but is that class as a map? That's yeah. a really trick question because I wouldn't class Dead Ops Arcade as legit zombies or a map in general. Because and plus. Well, it that is, doesn't that mean because every single map. Dead Ops Arcade classic, like sort of yeah, but Dead Ops Arcade has multiple maps in it, so that could be like eighteen maps. <laughs> it's just different no, it's just areas. Multiple, multiple levels, yeah, different areas. Are you sure zombies is yes. like yeah? But Dead Ops Arcade's not even in zombies. If it was classed as zombies, wouldn't it be in zombies? Well, Actually, has... saying that it is in Black Ops One. Yeah, okay, I get where yeah. it's coming from. In Black Ops One, yeah, but... it, 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 it is classed as one of the zombies maps, like even on the Call of Duty wiki. Okay, if you said what maps or where has um, the Marguerite appeared... Are you a story behind? Say, yeah, but it has to be... Dead Ops Arcade is just... Uh, the... Dead Ops Arcade's got nothing to do with the story, and I don't think it's just you trying to get to a gorilla. Harambe, basically. <laughs> it's, um, I don't think there's much of a story, at least not what I know, but like it's got a lot of the story. Yeah, there's a story. I have completed the first Dead Ops Arcade, and there's kind of like a story. Like because... what tied tied to the zombie storyline or no like no not at all it has its own little story because it has all the like margaret's uh insanity wraps things in uh elementals yeah uh and it, you know <laughs> it has gorillas yeah well maybe somebody's just started drilling god go on, continue, go on. continue. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah i don't know like dead up psycho i've only really played it a couple times I played it so much back in January and February. Yeah. It's called. Um... I've never even played it with anyone else. We should do a four player Dead Ops. Yeah, we should because how far have you gotten? I completed the first one. Uh, round back 16, in Black Ops 1. I think. I've never completed either of them. I so... got into yeah, 44 on this one. Oh, wow. On the Dead Ops. Yeah, I, I am actually really good. I don't want to like brag or anything, but like I got to, I got to like the ninth humble, area or something. <laughs> You're turning into Zord. Please don't brag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or if he watches this. Yeah, I well, made then a he can, moment. he can leave. Of my <laughs> Dead Ops Arcade two attempt. It was Zord, thanks cool. for the views, but um, you you can stop watching the podcast now. Podcast. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, is this question number three? Is this the poll? Uh, this the is poll? actually still on the question yeah. of um, still on the question of uh, what custom map we would like. So no, I, I know. But... I think everybody. So yeah, everyone it. said everyone said what they wanted to do. So. As yeah, I was gonna say like, I didn't know if there was anything else randomly that you know you would like to put into uh, customs. I think I was, I was just going to quickly say that any map remastered that was from Black Ops 2, I think, would be cool. Like, buried, multiple Dead Origins, anything like that would be cool. As long as it didn't have the bus, and as long as it wasn't that big. Like, I'm not sure if you've played Transit 2.0 from World at War. I have. Very laggy, but I have. And um, I thought that was really cool. You start What's wrong with the bus? Off with a Mauser. The bus is all right. The... Okay, can you just leave? Can you, can you just go? Yeah. <laughs> The bus was no, right. actually... the denizens no, no. and the fog. No, 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 Yeah, no. yeah, the bus was fog. The fact that the bus is a necessity is the problem. You cannot run through the fog without the bus. Yeah, you've, you've that's got what we bus. say, the denizens are the problem. Yeah. yeah but no, it's the fog. The if they get rid of the fog, they get rid of the denizens, because denizens that's, that's can't... That's why I said fog. denizens and fog. Yeah, like, but like... you can also teleport in uh, transit. Yeah. Yeah, if you get to some near one of the light poles. Mm-hmm. And yeah, but then, lamp poles, the bad but... thing about that is it's completely random, so like... You know, yeah, half the time you, just you could killed. spawn. Yeah, you could spawn in the middle of lava. You could spawn with some more denizens. No, you can't spawn yeah. in the middle of lava. You can spawn next to lava. Well, no, no. I'm I'm pretty sure in the coding, and this might, this is me, nice. uh, acting like I know everything. But you can just spawn anywhere. Like it's as long as it's a playable area, you spawn randomly anywhere. They didn't put specific locations down. I've, they I, just I, I, yeah, I haven't played it for years, but I'm pretty sure it's like you spawn anywhere. That's another teleporting location. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Hmm. 
I am a hundred percent sure. Yeah, I'm. I'm a hundred. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. find this out. Remember, Cookie said he's hundred percent sure because if he's wrong, if he's wrong, <laughs> I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure. I'll admit that. But you, you said I am a hundred because I played that so much. Yeah, because same. that I played that for like. I'm gonna look this yeah, up. Yeah, so long because I didn't even get the DLCs. I didn't even know. <laughs> All right. I, while you while you're looking for that, Matt, we're gonna go on to the Z poll. We asked a question. <sighs> yes. Will Infinite Warfare Zombies last? Very similar to the first question we asked, but we asked that and we got a total response of 61% saying that it will not last and then 39% saying that it will last. So what are your guys' individual thoughts? I'm not surprised by the results at all. I think it's... If, I actually think it will last. If yeah. I could vote, I would put no instantly if, if I could vote, but sadly you can't vote on your own poll. But I, I, I would say... With the DLCs and everything, I think it will last probably just about, but I think it will last as long as the DLCs are good enough to like keep us going. If they're like trash, then obviously we're gonna be like, no thanks, because we got mod tools. Yeah, because I really hope, as I said before, that it's better than Exo Zombies because I remember the third and fourth DLC um, on Exo Zombies because um, I I forgot that the DLC. C was releasing, so I just completely forgot about it. Oh, right. Like, it was just... I didn't <laughs> even... Yeah. Yeah, especially the fourth DLC. I just completely forgot about it. Oh, that's bad. So, and like, and, you're, and yeah. you're there, like, got your fans ready for you to upload videos, and you're probably sleeping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but, like, I was, like, a day late or something, or I... I don't know. Because I remember on the third DLC, I was, like, a few hours late or something because I forgot just like an hour or something. I don't okay. Know. Please. Talking about damn loading and stuff, I just wanted to quickly say I recorded Shadows of Evil today, two hours and one minute, the recording went on four. It downloaded in 45 seconds. I shit you not, and the recording was fine. That has never happened. That is crazy. 45, I swear. Nobody was going to believe me, but that's just, I don't know. I just wanted to put that out there. That is crazy. Fastest thing ever. But what it, do you mean by it downloaded? Was that like, because you have to download uh, it via the Elgato? No, um, I may put it in this podcast, so if you're watching, you may actually see it as the gameplay on screen. But what I did is I was playing Shadows of Evil, getting like the sword and stuff, and I was just getting gameplay, basically. It was one hour and 48 minutes, I think, altogether. Somewhere yeah. around there, anyway. And uh, then I obviously downloaded it, so I'm going to put it in a random video, like in a background or something, uh, if I ever want to make a video about Shadows of Evil or something. And um, it, it recorded, I mean, downloaded 40... 5, 46 seconds, it was 40 something seconds. What, so... you mean like downloaded from YouTube or? No, um, downloaded, no, I, I was recording the gameplay from Elgato, and then I went on Elgato, and like once you've recorded the gameplay, I'm not sure if this is the same with you, but on Elgato what you do is once you've recorded the gameplay and you've, finished, you've stopped recording, you've got to then t download the video from Elgato, if that makes any sense, just like storing yeah, Elgato. Yeah, to your computer. And yeah, and you have to click like, what do you want it to download on MP4, and like you click MP4, it'll yeah, download. Yeah, that's, that's not the oh. same for the PBRs. What, for me? You just, literally just record it. Yeah, I know that's ready for you. automatically. Yeah, I know that's the same with OBS as well, but Elgato's just, we know how bad Elgato is, so that's just not, not many. What, for me, it's yeah, just Elgato. automatic. Everything's just auto. Yeah, with the PBR. No, you can put a setting on Elgato just... where it does not, but... With the PPI, you literally just record it, and as soon as you stop recording, it's ready to be watched. Like, there's no downloading process, basically. Yeah, Cookie is right, where you can put a setting on Elgato. I think it's normally on it, where well, it I does download. Even... Yeah, yeah you, because you don't have I've to never anything. changed anything. Yeah, just... uh, I changed it because I record a lot, and because my laptop's not that good, a lot of videos come out badly. Like, when I sent you that um, the melee weapons thing, some of it was bad. Uh, that happens to a lot of my videos. I mean, a lot of my recordings, so... I don't put it on just in case that one recording is bad and I want to delete it or something. So I don't always. I took that setting off, so I've got to download the video okay. after. Oh. But I know, yeah. All right. So uh, back a bit on topic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Miniman Cookie. I don't know who actually answered it in the end. I I, I forgot. But uh, <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about Infinite Warfare the lasting the year before we get the next Call of Duty or the next Zombies installment? Uh, if if it's better than Exos, I think it it'll be all right. And then it, the, the DLC is gonna have to be really good. And then I think there's gonna have to be like some sort of game mode, like a gun game zombies or a grief, in order to keep it alive as well. 
Yeah. Like like a legit gun game zombies where like the developer actually creates it rather than just mod tools. I would love that so yeah. much. Like Travis so. need to do it. Um, oh imagine in we were on about console mod tools. Imagine they put that in Infinite Warfare instead of Black Ops 3. Imagine in Infinite Warfare if we had the ability to create maps. Then it would last for ages, and I would yeah, love Infinite would. Warfare. Like, like they just kept on so the DL, good. and they're just like, you know, no, nothing about it. And as soon as it comes out, like we could just use mod tools. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. Zombies in space land. That would be the perfect um, thing for them to do. Oh yeah. To be fairly honest. Yeah. yeah. If they did that, obviously after all the DLC and that, but if they did that, I swear Infinite Warfare Zombies would become much more popular than Exo Zombies Two or whatever the next <laughs> Sledgehammer era Zombies will be, which will, let's be honest, will probably be shit. Especially where the Exo Zombies line storyline went, like, it wasn't terrible, but with all the mozzies and stuff, I just I don't even want to mention that. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if they did something like that, Exo Zombies, I mean not Exo Zombies, sorry, Infinite Warfare Zombies and Infinite Warfare in general would last because you could do models with multiplayer. You've got to remember that uh, models would just be zombies, it would be everything. So yeah. I don't know, Infinite Warfare in general would last much longer. But I've got to be honest, the chances of that happening are quite slim. I would probably expect it more from Triarch than I would Infinity Ward, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I find it funny how, like, when first they introduced zombies into uh, Infinite Warfare, everyone was, like, losing their shit going, like, oh, you know, like, there's nowhere they could do this. They're just copying Treyarch, and now, like, there's quite a lot of the community sort of hyped up for it, as it's only next week that we get in. Yeah. Uh, what... So it's the 26th at the moment, so we literally get it, like, next week in two days. Yeah. Like, ne next Friday. Nine. I have a countdown on my yeah. phone. Oh. Nice. Eight okay. days, eight hours, 51 minutes, and 40 seconds. Nice. Oh, that's yeah. hype. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't wait, personally. Like, I've always been hyped for it because I'm always open to, like, new games, and even if they wanted to copy track or whatever, I always knew that, like, they were going to go their own sort of way. They, they weren't going to, like, fill up copy them. So I I've just got a uh, contact this. request. Very weird thing to say. Okay, go on, continue. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it, basically. You just interrupted me. <laughs> like yeah. I always do. Are you surprised? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, if they did mod tools, it would definitely last much longer. I, I, yeah, I, I didn't even think about that, but I do agree with you. Like, if they did mod tools yeah, after like the fourth too. DLC, because like the fourth DLC, this got to be quite a short storyline because fourth DLC is like the the end of this storyline. So I'll be interested yeah. in seeing where it goes and how quickly it, everything passes. And then this time <laughs> next year, we'll get Infinite Warfare comic. I feel like um, <laughs> I feel like <laughs> Infinite Warfare will be um, the storyline. I'm going to say it will be bad, even though the like we don't know hardly anything about it, so I can't really say that, but I just have, so deal with it. But, but um, basically, with Infinite Warfare, I think that would be the perfect idea to do like mods and stuff. Or not even mods, just custom maps, um, custom uh, games and stuff. Because um, what I feel will happen with uh, Infinite Warfare Zombies, especially this is not multiplayer campaign Zombies, the Zombies side, is that the storyline for Exo, I mean, uh, Infinite Infinite Warfare Zombies, or Zombies in Space Land, I can't even get my words out, but what the storyline is, as far as I'm aware, is they get sucked into a movie, and it's like the 80s, and their clothes change and stuff, yeah. and that's basically what the storyline is, and then David Hasselhoff's trying to help him and stuff, but I feel like that'll be through the, all the DLC, so they'll get sucked into another movie, and another movie, and it'll get very repetitive, um, and like basically the same thing's happening, they might be in like, they get sucked into a space movie, or sucked into like, the, the medieval times or something, but I, it'll always be the same thing, I feel like it'll get very repetitive and i feel like that comes into why infinite warfare i think will not last unless they do mod tools then i don't know that'd be the perfect thing for them mod tools might even make more sense for infinite warfare because it's more of a fun zombies rather than yeah yeah like more focus. sandboxy That's so yeah, true. yeah 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 so, you know. but i yeah but i don't feel like it's going to be repetitive or like maybe but i i i still don't think it's not going to get boring just because of that. Yeah, because you think in about my opinion. Black Ops, Black Ops zombies in general. Uh, that's what they do now, really. It, like they don't get sucked up as such, but they basically jump from one place to another, and that's essentially what they're yeah. doing here. Especially in, in Black Ops One. But in a different way, like they're not teleporting; they're just getting sucked into a new movie or whatever, and they just sort of restylize that way of traveling from one map to another. Yeah, I hope it's not like um, I hope it's not like uh, Black Ops Three, where I think this killed it for me, where we found that scrap on Shadows of Evil, or was it Shadows of Evil? No, I'm pretty sure it was Shadows of Evil. But basically, it just said 
like it gives us the locations of where we're going to go. So we knew we were going to go to Zetsubu Nishima next. I mean, uh, Dyson Jack next, then Zetsubu, and we knew where we were going to do go if it does the same yeah. as obviously Spaceland where it tells us like there's a secret or something which tells us the next DLC map a secret in there which tells us I think it'll just ruin it I, I've got to be honest yeah. if I didn't know that Zetsubu was going to take place or the Rising Track yeah, maybe I'd be much it, yeah. more hyped I know what you mean but it makes sense storyline yeah. wise because if you think about the loop the cycle they're in and they go back to Shadows of Evil so many times etc at some point they must have made that little scrap and then like obviously you scattered it in like Shadows somehow and uh yeah. And then we're at this universe right at the moment, and they've already been to that part where they've scattered the paper along, whatever. So, like, storyline wise, it like makes sense, but I definitely know what you mean because uh, we we knew where we were going, and up until DLC three for like the entire year. Yeah, yeah. Especially after like the Eyes and Draken, like we knew the first coordinate was like the same basically, and then when we got coordinates to Russia, we're like, yeah, that's, that's for Nikolai coordinates for like Pompeii we guess it was for uh, Takio um, yeah. so yeah I, I totally get what you mean yeah yes the hell a girl just rang on my rang my doorbell and she has Chinese a bag of Chinese food in her hand <laughs> what <laughs> did you take everyone it? watching the podcast I'm sorry I, <laughs> I'm just looking out my window down at her it's kind of cute <laughs> oh god <laughs> Ask her to bring it up because you're doing a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Welcome her. She, she, she can be part of the podcast. Yeah, Ask her if she's got a YouTube channel. Imagine oh, if she's a zombie you YouTuber. Queen. <laughs> Ooh. She can be our guest. Hey, she's yeah. a redhead. Is this your sister, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> now she's just walking around my neighborhood on her phone, like, confused and shit. She's a regular <laughs> listener. Don't don't chat anything bad about her. Okay, are we gonna move on to the next topic? Or are we just gonna talk about a well, Chinese woman? Well, this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> Delivering food. <laughs> this is where no, she, it gets it's, she's a it's a white girl. It's, it's, it's a white girl with a bag of Chinese food. Oh, I thought you said she was a Chinese girl with Chinese food. So. No, I'm so confused. Chi- Chinese girl with a white girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. What? This is where it gets interesting because. We don't have a fourth topic. We have uh, asked people questions and they've oh, responded true. to us. Do you want me to uh, so we have a few questions start that, or is anyone going to start yeah, with those questions? We have a few questions that Matt's going to go ahead and start off with the first one oh. and just go through your questions. And, uh, okay, so the first... Okay. Yeah, we're just going to answer them. So the first want. question... Yeah, so the first question, and this is by the Kid Zombie Slayer at the Kid Zombies 1. And this is a question that we can all answer. Uh, and it's very easy, but obviously you and obviously maybe some people that are not watching this podcast now may not know about this. But it, the question was, what happened to the Mob of the Dead characters? Did they die? What happened to them? Now, I'm not sure if you're on about what happened inside Mob of the Dead set in the uh, Purgatory. If you're on about that, then um, basically the cycle was stopped, basically. Mob of the Dead does not happen anymore, and they just go on about doing whatever they do. But if, I know you're on about the actual characters, what happened uh, and if you're on about storyline-wise, what happened was the way they got into Mob of the Dead in the first place is Weasel had a plan to escape Alcatraz, and um, so he got the three of us, Finn, Sal, and I cannot remember the Billy. other guy's name. But yeah, Billy oh, Hanson, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he got them, and they all decided a plan to escape Alcatraz, and then they got to the roof. They were going to build a plane, and it failed, and did not didn't work. So, because they were all raged, they all killed Weasel, so Weasel died on the rooftop. And then because they killed Weasel, um, the other three got executed. So, in real life, then, yes, all, all of them did die. Eventually, the three got executed and Weasel got beaten to death on the roof. And in the zombies, while you're playing in zombies, the uh, storyline... Um, the cycle was broken, essentially. So, that's what the Easter egg was about. So, I hope that answered your question. Yeah. Yes. Please. Does anyone else want to add on to that, or did I just basically explain the whole thing? That yeah, I think so. I don't really it. know. I mean, we yeah. have blood vials as well, but that only add on to the fact that they definitely did die. Yeah, they 100% died. Anyway, the second question for at or Vistum, at or Vispen, can't even spell, uh, or say, 
or Ace FG, as he's well known. Shout out to Ace FG. He says, which is the best zombies game in your opinion? Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, or Black Ops 3? Now, he didn't include World at War for some reason, but I'm just going to add it in just because I feel like it makes more sense, or he might have just forgot it. But we'll just, we can all answer this question. I don't have to just say yeah. everything and take the spotlight, basically. So for me personally, I'm going to go Black Ops 2. I already said, I think I said this last podcast where I explained about uh, what our favourite maps were and stuff, but. Mine's going to be Black Ops 2, just because of Origins and Buried. I love them two maps. Mob of the Dead, I didn't really like that much, to be fair, but that's what I'm going to say, personally. I'm gonna say yeah, me Call too. Duty zombies or favourite Call of Duty game? Uh, favourite Zombies. Oh. Black Ops 3 for me. I'm going to sure. say Black Ops 1. Oh. Yeah, it's so hard to decide, because there's so many awesome maps in Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 3. Yeah. Like, I also, of course, love the World at War maps, but I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know. That just is out of the, like, or I, I, have, I have such a hard time picking. Which, which game is. do you have the most liked maps on? Um. Uh, oh, I, it would be a draw between Black Ops Two and Three. I can't even like. I, I love all of the maps. Yeah. I, the only yeah. maps I like in Black Ops One, to be fair. Shangri-La and Kino, they're the only maps I really enjoy, so... See, I say Black Ops 1 just because um, I'm quite a big fan of, like, Ascension and Moon, and Call of the Dead is alright, yeah. like, I quite like it, even though I find yeah. George a bit of a pain. Yeah. And uh, Shangri-La I actually quite like, even though I never really play it. I, yeah. I feel Black Ops 2 yeah. was the perfect zombies. I know yeah, it's going Black really far out, Black but... I am going to say Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2. I can't decide. I literally can't decide because there's so many awesome maps in all of them. And I love so... M yeah, just I just love so many maps. Yeah. Well, um, I literally can't decide. And I'm, the, the reason, okay, but the reason as to why I'm not seeing Black Ops 3, I think, is just because of nostalgia. Because I feel Probably, like... Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm just going to say Black Ops One and Black Ops Two. So why um why do you like Black Ops Three so much? I, I need to I want to know this. It's a good game, but Me? how come you think it's the best? Yeah. Uh well, first off, all of the maps on Black Ops Three are in my top ten zombie maps of all time. Even Zetsubunashima. Even that's a, that's about yeah. Is that number oh, nine? Of and, <laughs> so and then the Rising Drac is amazing, and Grog Crovy, the Giant Shadows of Evil. Those are all super good. So. Yeah, I really agree with you on that one because um, there's only two maps I really enjoy in Black Ops Two, which yeah. is uh, Buried or Buried, whatever, whatever, however you pronounce it, but Buried and Origins, which are my two. What was, well, Origins is my favorite, and Buried is probably about fifth. If I did another top five, Buried would probably come about fifth or sixth in like a list of my top five favorite maps. And in Black Ops Three, we've got Shadows and Rising Jack, which I love, and I adore. Like Shadows is, I love it. Very underrated. Shadows is my second favourite Black Ops 3 map. And Dryzen Jack's just... Dryzen Jack's up there with Origins. Dryzen Jack's a very good map. So, I don't know. if I'm going to be cheap and say Black Ops 2 and BO3 are drawing. But if I had to play one for the rest of Zombies, I'd probably go Black Ops 2. Just because it's like Mob of the Dead. I do say I don't like the map that much. But I'd rather play Mob of the Dead and Die Rise more than Zetsubu and Grog Krovy, for example. So I'm going to say Black Ops 2. Although, if you want a proper answer, it'd be they just draw Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 would be my best zombies. I would love um, okay. Black Ops 1, 2, or World at War if they had a leveling up system, like a proper one, like in Black Ops 3. Yeah. So yeah I feel, that, awesome. I feel like that's, that's helped a lot in uh, Black Ops 3 for myself, anyway, to like play it more and try and get to like the next prestige and trying to get a top level. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's definitely helped me play the game a lot more than I would have otherwise. Yeah. Okay, so at the Kid Zombies again. Um, by the way, is my mic okay? Very weird question to ask. Yes. That's not a weird okay. question. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm just full of weird questions. But um, at the Kid Zombies again, this is his second question, and this is the last question I've got, and then Minuteman's got a question, I believe. But yeah. Do you think there'll be a Super Easter egg? Essentially, is what he's saying. It's quite a long uh, sentence, but essentially, it's is there a Super Easter egg? At this point, I don't think that there is, just because now there's been such a long time, and like we haven't even found like anything, right? Or have we? 
no leads are no, going, I don't think no. so. No leads are going towards the super easter egg. Every time we find something, yeah. it gets debunked yeah. to being like something else. I don't think so at this point, which is uh, like hard to say. And I feel like if there yeah. is, if Tri if Triox say there's a super easter egg, they're probably referring to something silly like uh, the katana or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's a super easter egg. I don't know either. So. I, I I've completely lost faith because. We had like the the encrypted files that ended up being the Shadows of Evil intro cutscene. We've had Codename Pizza doing um, the ending cutscene and revelations. He got that weird audio cue, and then it ends up being something else, uh, for like Samantha's a lullaby or something. And like like I say, everywhere we go, like, every road we go down, when we think we've found something, it just dead end. Yeah. I've got to be 100% honest, from the start I said there was not going to be a super easter egg, I know, I, I didn't, I'm just not fun in the fact that I thought there was going to be no super easter egg, I, I didn't even search for one, I know everyone was searching for it, I didn't search for it, I didn't think there would be one, as soon as Revelations came out, to be honest, before Revelations came out, I actually said there's not going to be a super easter egg, there'll be the easter egg of the map, and I'll end it, there's not going to be a massive easter egg with all the gateworms and stuff, although I was sus suspicious to why those gateworms in the menu and stuff but the thing is there's got I to believe be I'm right. more with a lot of things there's just got to be more like literally Mr. Ruffwaffle's series on it there's got to be more there's a lot of things that are just unanswered still but it's yeah. the thing with yeah. the um I'm not sure the gateworms for example people said the gateworms were the things you do in the apophagon but they go from eggs they're not the actual gateworms you yeah. collect so then four gateworms that you got from the four maps and the, well, I, we know what you did with the summoning key, but the four gateworms, what do they do? They can't just be a symbol that you've done the Easter egg and um, you've got the RK5 and you've. Well, you've they could, they could literally that. just be a symbol. Why? Well, I, I get it, yeah. Because <laughs> you don't, you don't, technically, you don't physically pick a gateworm up at the end of every Easter egg. Like, it'd be different if we saw them pick one up, I guess, and put it in their pocket or something crazy like that. But it, they could just literally be a symbol. Rather than just like a check mark, it's just a gateworm or summoning key. Which sure. does make it aesthetically better. Makes yeah, it yeah. Better. Um, but yeah, like yeah. I say, I, I've just slowly lost hope in the Super Easter Egg as the days and the weeks gone by. Yeah, mm. me too. Uh, even though, even though the um, data miners say otherwise, nothing's come up yet until something proper comes up, like. I'm just not gonna bother like having any faith in it. I don't think. I know um, Owl's Hat was very recently debunked. Everyone thought that give you like extra max ammo or something. That was debunked. There's so many things are getting debunked, and that yeah. comes into what you were saying about the super easter egg. But there's so many things getting debunked now that it's just. I don't think there's no hope. If there's a super easter egg, then that is, that is fine. Thing, prove me wrong. But... We haven't found the super easter egg. If there is one, we haven't found it. But we also haven't found what the hell Owl's Hat's for, and that's. So yeah. that's probably going to be something so small, so insignificant that, like, you know, you probably have to just wear it and then throw a grenade somewhere. And we still, like, or, or something simple like that. And we just still haven't found Owl's Hat's, like, purpose. Yeah. <laughs> you could hear someone's phone. Yeah, same. Probably Max. And it was because of me. No, but it's not mine. Anyway, but, like, <laughs> don't try to blame it on me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So we're done with that question then? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. well, my Twitter app just closed, so I have to go and scroll and find the right. question again. This will be the last question. Yeah, I believe you've only got the... one question, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. I so... can quickly find a few if you want. Oh, don't you've got no, it. I just found it. So from Phantom Laser, he asks, "What happened to 1.0 Max this?" And it's kind of confusing because there's so many different Maxes. Yeah. Wait. Where? Who is the... Oh, oh okay. like, there's the Maxis that gets trapped in the teleporter, and then there's the Maxis that becomes the quad rotor, and then there's the Maxis in Revelations, and there's the Maxis that loses in Black Ops 2. Yeah. Um, so, what's the question? What happened to Maxis? Sorry, but... He said, What happened to Maxis 1.0? And, like, I'm not but even what's sure. What's 1.0? If... Like, is that yeah. the Origins one? Is that the, um, the no, one that the, we heard I radios about? The one from Black Ops 1. Oh yeah, yeah. Possibly. a world at war. Yeah, I, I, I know where you're coming from. Um, to be a hundred percent honest, I I oh, can yeah, answer this wait. question. I know a decent amount about zombies. Do you know? Personally, I don't know anything about 
that at all. I, I don't really go into in-depth radios. I know some of you might know a lot about the radios and stuff, but I'm not. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to leave I this know. question out. I don't know. I think I know. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, I think it depends on which side of the Easter egg you complete in Black Ops 2. So yeah, it... maybe. But, like, if we... Because, well, like, from the very start, like, they were, like, working together or whatever it was. But then Richtofen trapped them in the tele teleporter and then, like, teleported them away somewhere. Because Samantha ended up in Moon, in, like, the pyramids or whatever it was. And uh, Maxis, I think was teleported to Buried or something, or... I, I have no idea if that was later on, but there was... There is actually a, a radio in Deris where he... where Maxis says that he has been teleported to, um, like, some mine somewhere. In, the, like, a cave. <laughs> and, like, it, that is Buried, basically. According to, at least, some theories. It's a good question, I, because I couldn't I answer it. Yes, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I just heard that, and that was almost a year ago. I yeah. feel like I wanted, to, like I wanted to refresh my storyline knowledge before Black Ops Three came out. Okay, but this is I going. This is going quite far back, but the first question, which was, uh, "Will Black Ops die out?" I, I believe that was the question. But yeah. um, I think that comes into that where, although it may, like I don't know, videos on it might get a not not get as many views as it might do or people might not be as playing it as much as they might have there'll still be people finding these ciphers and they'll be finding out like i feel like with maxis um there's there'll be ciphers around that explain a lot about what happened and radios and there'll be many things that we haven't found about it and um i feel like that comes into call of duty dying it's not going to die completely but I've, I've, with these mini strigs, if that makes any sense. So I, I feel like Maxis yeah. will be explained and maybe more in a cipher, because to be honest, mm -hmm. I know a lot about the storyline, but I have no idea with Maxis, unless he's already been thinged and just none of us know. So that might be the um, possibility. Somebody might correct us in the comments of this uh, podcast, but if what I'm going by is correct and none of us really know, then, then yeah, it might be ciphers and stuff that help us find that. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, like, when it comes to storyline, I know quite a bit about, like, Black Ops 3 and across the other games as well. But, like, when it comes to Maxis, I don't really know that much about him. Not without doing, like, the research. Yeah, me neither. I just heard that, and I think that I heard that or something. <laughs> Maybe yeah. it was just someone's theory, I don't know, but... I know there's a radio of Maxis, 1.0 1, 1 Maxis back in Deris, where he says that he has been teleported into some strange mines and caves or, or something, and an underground city, I think okay. he, he said as well. Yeah, so that was like almost, that, like he describes Buried, basically, in yeah. the radio. I'll have to go back yeah. and listen to those radios, because I, I don't really remember that many radios on the previous yeah, games. Yeah, there, but... But it's so many to, like, remember. I just don't remember them that well. Yeah. 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 So, that seems like it will be the end of the podcast. Yes, and now all of us are going to do that together. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was joking by that. I don't think that's going to work so well. <laughs> yeah, everyone should. Write I was going to say that would be really, it. that would be really cool, and I would. But it seems to me, or at least on my end, everyone's voices uh, out of sync. So if we all said at the same time, we'll, we'll, um, we'll be out of sync. Let's just try. Let's just let's just try. <laughs> all right. Three. Wait, two. How does it start? Uh, yeah, I don't even. I can't remember. <laughs> do we just? Do we just start with thank you and then <laughs> continue? Yeah. Go on, okay, let's let's go. okay. Three. Two, one. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Und, und good goodbye. goodbye. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs> that was terrible.